see the military making the rounds out here, keeping everything safe. <laughs> They really like this little field when they mow it. They really, I don't know what they find out there. But they find a lot of it. They seem to really like it. Hmm. Is that what you found us, dog? Oh. What do you see? Aha! Uh -huh. Ha! That makes way more sense. Look at that. I don't even know who it is yet. Ah, the American Century. That's who we have. Dang, dog. And he has skills. I feel like I should interview him sometime about how he, how he does he know these things, but I don't think he can explain it. I think it just is. It just is. It's like, how do you know when you need to take a breath? You just do. It just happens. Right? Well, there's something, something really important there. <laughs> ah, yes, happy Monday. Today is the 21st of August, and we are in a, a kind of cloudy Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, it's not cold, it's not hot. I think it's like 65 degrees. So, no wind really. Um, yeah, kind of nice. There's a lot of people you see wearing like shorts and a flannel. I'm uh, holding strong and uh, ignoring the flannel. Oh, sorry. Mid sentence, I looked to my left and found that, man. And this dog has skills. I. It's a good thing we moved here. His talents were underutilized in Oregon, for sure. Without question. Oh. Ah, so what Argo also found us. It's another ship. Can you believe this? Oh. Might be able to kind of see some hints the bars here but once I get just past this tree I can find a section without any spiders shove my arm through here there we go here we are honorable James L Oberstar Can't tell. I don't think they're tied. Oh no, no, I see the line. They are tied up. I think? Maybe not. I thought I saw a line, but now I think maybe it's just a roof <laughs> of one of the buildings behind there. But they're obviously waiting for their turn in the lock. My guess is they'll be on a turn back from the uh, American century, given how far forward they are. And we got a seagull there keeping watch. And let's kind of take a peek this way. They're dropping down in the lock. Which makes sense, because that's what they're doing. <laughs> I say obvious things. Uh, uh, had a nice weekend. Hopefully you did as well. The three of us, uh, Argo, myself, and my girlfriend, we got out for another hike on the North Country Trail. I'll see if I can... Uh, throw in a few bits of video right here.
going to do with those video clips from our little hikes. Um, it was nice though. Had a nice little uh, little trip. Um, you know, more testing and just kind of getting stuff. We feel pretty dialed in. And of course, the big hike is this weekend. So hit the trail Friday, the 25th, and we come off on the 30th of August. So bringing as much stuff as I want to carry. <laughs> See what I can do for pictures and video. Um, I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be fun. <sighs> Something I've not done anything like this in a couple years. I'm a little nervous, but less nervous than I was a month or so ago, of course. Um, yesterday, I don't know if you saw it in my face, <laughs> yes, in those video clips, it was kind of a struggle. We were it was hot and humid and uh, <clears throat> towards the end there I was getting pretty overheated so if if the hike had been much longer it was just a smidge under seven miles I would have needed more water and we would have had to stop again <laughs> because, uh, yeah I was I was feeling it for sure that humidity really does a number on you it's amazing now something I've not really experienced before moving here because usually out in the forest if I was hiking is in the mountains and there's not a whole lot of humidity to be had usually in the mountains so let me uh, shove back through here yeah a nice little scene so I think though I'm gonna have to end this right about here because while I've been Rambling on, I've had five work messages <laughs> on my lunch break. So I need to uh, get back to those and then uh, hurry on back to the desk. So hopefully you're having a nice Monday and you had a really good weekend. You got to enjoy the nice weather in summer. And uh, I don't know if I'll have any more this week. We'll see. I'm hoping to get uh, one more on top of this done before we leave I'd like to have something uh, auto you know be made public while I'm available or gone so anyway <laughs> that's gonna do it for now have a good one Argo and I'll be back maybe with ships maybe with an adventure maybe both maybe both but we will be back <laughs> see you later Where are they going in such a rush? <laughs> anyway, I figured I'd show some of the new crosswalk painting here downtown in Sault Ste. Marie. It's been done recently. So yeah. That one's cool. Um, there's some down there by the Ojibwe Hotel, um, which I uh, neglected to record. I didn't think of it till after I was past there. <laughs> but, oh well. That's a chance I've shown it in other ones. I don't know. They uh, refreshed the painting just uh, a couple weeks ago. And the one we're about to see, well, okay. Argo decided now is the time and place to do his business. So, one moment please. Okay, feel better? Up here though is the newest one, which I feel a lot of people will appreciate. You can hear that lock construction, or at least I can. Hmm. So this one, they just did over the weekend. And uh, it's pretty cool. James R. Barker. That's pretty neat. Now, I always wish I was artistic. I just have no, no ability at all. 
So that's pretty cool though. I figured I'd show that. I think most people would enjoy it. I also enjoyed this, uh, this planter box here. Walked past it a lot. I, just, I don't know. It's just nice. <laughs> if that makes any sense. It's just nice. So, all right, dog. Here we're gonna go one more time, and Argo's gonna twist me up. Ah. All right, now. Now we're going to finish up our walk. So, <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> we'll see you later.